guys and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be doing a little sew along and that is for this pattern. This is the Cape Cod pattern from Ellie and Mac. Um, it is a bathing suit. Super cute one piece. It has like a halter top neck with the tie in the back. It has a full bum so it's nice full coverage high on the back my, my daughter absolutely loves it I got this really cute um, orange swimsuit fabric um, so yeah that's a little bit about that so let's just get straight into the sole so this is the fabric that I'm going to be using today this is a really pretty um, orange bathing suit material it actually has sort of a yellow on the inside um, so I could use this interchangeably if I wanted to use the inside as the outer fabric or the orange. I'm going to be using the orange because that's my daughter's favorite color. And then we have this bathing suit liner. Um, this usually comes in white, nude, or black. Um, this is a thinner material and great to be against the body in, in your bathing suits. I also have a quarter inch elastic. So with my bathing suit material, depending on um, what yours looks like, this has a sort of stripey pattern in it. So you need to figure out which way your stretch direction is going. Of course, this is a four-way stretch type material, but there is going to be a little bit more stretch in um, one way or one direction than the other. So you're just gonna take your fabric and you're gonna pull it, and you're going to see what has a little bit more stretch than, and this is only if you're confused as to what is the, um, the which which way the direction goes. So with this fabric, I find that the lengthways it has less stretch. So for this one, I'm going to make sure that the pattern is going to be laid on top so that this is the neck to bottom, and then it's going to wrap around the body this way. Um, I find with this this material, it seems like I can't. I don't know where my bias edge is. I don't. It just looks like it was cut from the middle of a bolt almost. So you, if you have you know a situation like that where you don't know, then um, doing a little stretch test will tell you which way. And you want most stretch to go around the body, not up and down. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut out our pattern. Okay, so the pattern I'll be using today is from a company called Ellie and Mac. Um, I'll have the link for this pattern in the description box below. Um, it's called the Cape Cod Pattern. It's fairly simple. We just have one back, one or one front, one back, and then we have um, the tie that goes around their neck. And I have a little cutting chart over here for my elastics. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my pieces. All I need for this is two fronts and two backs. So one out of the outer fabric and one out of the lining. And um, we're going to cut on the fold. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out my fabric. And like I said before, I'm going to do it from... This is my long ways. So like I said, I'm going to be cutting that pattern piece on the fold. So I will fold my fabric lengthways. And then we will try to use as little of the fabric as possible. So I kind of map out how much bring the fabric over I haven't cut this out yet so as you can see there is a little scoop here oh yeah right there there's a little so I just left that for now I'm just gonna line it up with the edge the folded edge as best as I can and then I'll get my pattern weights which are just some big washers you can pin it if you want it's because it is stretch material it's fine to pin okay so now I will just cut out 
my pieces. I don't know where my small, I have a smaller rotary cutter that's great for getting into those tight spaces. Okay, so that is my bathing suit front. And now I'm going to set that aside and we can cut out our bathing suit back. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out the lining fabric um, off camera. But you get the idea. It's going to be exactly the same way. I'm just not cutting a tie with the lining. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces cut out. We have the lining and the outer outer lining and then our strip. I also cut out the elastics. I have two that are the same size. That'll be around the leg gussets. And then another one that is going to be for the back of at the top. And this actually, I already put a mark here to find the center of that. So that's gonna be our first step. Okay, so we have our two fabrics. I put one on top of the other. This is the right side of my fabric. So this is my wrong side. I put the bathing suit lining on top and the bathing suit lining doesn't really have a right or wrong side. So I'm just gonna place that right on top like that. I'm going to actually find the center of the back. So I'm just gonna go like that. And I'm just gonna snip a little triangle right there and then put it back. I'm gonna use pins now just because it is knit so we can do that. I'm taking the back elastic and I'm going to put that on the lining fabric and I'm going to pin that into place right there. Now it is a little short and that's what you want because you want it to sort of gather. So you're going to actually just bring this fabric over and we're just going to pin that all together. And when we're sewing this, we're going to stretch the elastic, not the fabric. And that is going to give us a little gather in the back. And this will help to prevent the bathing seat from sagging down their back. So we're just gonna sort of go like that as we're sewing. And we're gonna do a zigzag stitch right along there. <coughs> Okay, so uh, we're going to pull from the center. I might have already said that, but my camera died. And we're just going to go along, making sure you get all three of those layers. pull from the end now. Make sure everything and even if you want to kind of clip the layers of fabric together. Oops. 
Now, if you find yourself having as much difficulty as I do, there's nothing wrong with surging this edge first and then placing your elastic on it. And I might just do that next time. Just to keep the layers of fabric together, we're going to reduce the headache. So this is how it's looking. So now we're just going to take that edge and we're going to fold it down like that. We're going to do a zigzag stitch on top of this and that is going to hide that on the inside of the bathing suit. Uh, if you wanted to use a cover stitch that will finish off the edge of that and that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use my cover stitch machine. So if you don't know what that is, it's sort of like a serger. It's meant to be used with your stretch um, projects and it sort of finishes off the edges without cutting the fabric because sergers, they will finish off the edge and cut at the same time. But the, the cover stitch does not cut. So here's my cover stitch machine. It is a Brother Cover Stitch 2340CV. So if you're interested, I'll have the link in the description box. Um, I really enjoy this one. It's great for beginners. So what you do with this machine is you actually do it from the top of the garment. Um, and that's because that's where your stitches are going to appear and then your stretch stitching will be on the inside. So it's kind of weird because you don't get to actually see what you're doing, um, and you, but you just need to kind of feel and make sure that you are where you need to be, and then give that little bit of a stretch again just to straighten out that elastic. So that's how the back looks. As you can see, I totally didn't get the edge of the fabric, um, but that's okay. But that's where it, that should have fallen along there. But it still looks really nice from the front. Okay, so this is how this is looking. So this elastic gives it some support. So if this bathing suit fabric stretches out, that will hold it against the skin. Okay, so now we're going to work on the bathing suit front. So we are going to take the outer fabric and lay that down. And then we're going to take the lining fabric and we're gonna lay that on top. And we're gonna line up all those little pieces. Okay, so that is what we're doing. And now we're going to sew. We're gonna sew just this portion here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew along here and up here. We're gonna leave that open and then we're gonna do this, leave this open and then this, leave that open and this leave that open and then back down the other armhole. 
So wherever I put a clip is where I will not be sewing and we're not going to go down here. We're just gonna stay up in that section. I'm just gonna use my regular sewing machine right now to do the zigzag stitch just because I don't want to end up cutting the fabric on the serger. But if you feel comfortable doing something like that with your serger, you can definitely do that. Okay, so we put our sewing machine settings on zigzag. And then we're going to try to keep the fabric lined up as best as you can. Now we are going to rest the last Okay, so now that we have all of those sewn, we are going to make sure that all the fabric caught. Hopefully it did. So we're just gonna go in and we're going to turn it right sides out. So we're gonna take each one of those little pieces and just flip it right side out. And now we'll look at the front, see how it looks. Looks pretty good. You wanna make sure it looks all nice because this is where, you know, you're gonna see the most on the front of the bathing suit. <gasps> so excited, okay. Okay, so I just went over to my serger quickly and I just surged these raw edges. I'm just going to cut off my serger threads. You don't need to do this and you could if you wanted to use that um, same zigzag stitch to do the same thing. So now we're going to flip it so that I can see the back and we're going to take these little tabs here and we're going to fold them down a half an inch and that is going to give us a casing for the um the back tie so we're just going to go like that half an inch and just sew that down and you can do a zigzag again if you want to um, I guess it was a little redundant. I mean, I could have used my cover stitch and just finished that off as well. I'm just going to use my zigzag, I think. Like that. I'm trying to make these edges kind of hidden. So there's like that square edge right there. So it kind of... It's kind of like designed that that corner will kind of meet this corner so that it's all hidden in behind. And then the same thing, this is kind of designed so that it's wider here so that everything is hidden nicely. And I'm just gonna clip off that. 
and then we can sew all four of those little things. So now we're just going to I'm just gonna sew along the serged edge that I already created. You can kind of see how that's going to look. Okay, so it doesn't look amazing, but this is actually going to kind of be scrunched together anyways once it's all threaded. So I'm not super concerned and it is for my daughter. Okay, so now we are going to take the back piece again and we're going to bring it to the front piece. What we're going to do is we're going to lay the pieces right sides together and we're going to line up the crotch piece. So as you can see, the crotch has a sort of curve this way and then the out or the front of the bathing suit has it that way. So you're going to need to kind of curve those pieces together. Because they are going kind of the opposite way. Now I'm going to start surging now. This is kind of important to have good, but you can still use that stretch zigzag stitch here. Okay, so we're going to do this first and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the same thing with the liner. So we're only doing the outer fabrics. Okay, so I have a brother, uh, a brother lock 655d i'll have that linked in the description as well this is my serger i love this all the brother machines um the beginner models are great so i can't say enough about this guy okay so we're going to kind of go around a curve so making sure that our fabrics stay nicely lined up on the edge and as you can see there's a little cutter here and um, if you get too far off you'll start cutting off your seam allowance and you don't really want that so try not to cut too much off it's okay if you cut off a little bit just as it's kind of evening off but not too much and try not to stretch okay so now that that is sewn you can open it up and check how it is make sure there's no holes and then you can take your lining and we're just going to kind of bring it towards the right side of the outer fabric. And we're going to kind of flip it like that and then put them together like this. So then the right side and then the nice edge and then the right side and then the nice edge will be touching. We'll do the same thing, line up. And it'll be the same curve. And don't be afraid to use a lot of pins because this fabric does slip and shift. So now we'll just do again a serge right along that edge. So the same deal, just making sure everything's nice and lined up. And don't cut off too much. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we have our finished crotch on the lining. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that everything is nicely lined up. I'm going to make it so that it's inside out, like the bathing suit is inside out. And I'm going to take the sides. So making sure your pieces are lined up. I'm going to do it a little bit different than what the pattern says to do. So I'm just going to take the sides and put those together. So we're going to put four layers together and we'll pin that. And it's going to go all the way up to the back. So the back is going to line up with the underarm. And I'm just going to do a surge right down that edge. So if you want to cut off a little bit just so that you can ensure that you have all four layers. Making sure you don't stretch any of the fabric. That's how it's looking. Okay, so now we're just going to do the leg hole. So I'm just going to start at the seam of the crotch and that's just going to ensure me that it's lined up and then we're just going to make sure that these two layers are And now I'm going to do the tie that's going to be around their neck. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it with the right sides together. And you can really just do this at the sewing machine. I don't really need to pin it all the way, but you get the idea. And then we're just going to go down the long edge. I'm going to use this tool here and what I do with it is it has a little hook on it kind of like a latch hook you're just going to put it all the way through I could do this by hand because it's very stretchy material but this is going to be a lot easier for me so you kind of just hook the fabric onto it and then you're just going to pull it through trying not to hook onto anything else on the way. Once you get going, then it uh, should be easier. Just like that. Easy peasy. So then you have your little tie. Okay, so it is taking shape. So all we need to do is the strap and then we're going to do the leg gussets. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastic and we're just going to kind of overlap it. Um, and we're going to do uh, some zigzag stitches just to make it into a loop like that. So just overlap it like a quarter of an inch and then stick it under your sewing machine. Very carefully. Try 
go back and forth. Make sure it's kind of knotted. And then you just want to make sure that it is nice and tight. I'm just going to do that with the second one. Okay, so now we're going to mark our elastics for around the, um, the leg holes. So I'm just taking my elastic and where the seam is, I'm just going to fold it in half and mark the uh, center point. And then I'm going to line up the center point with that seam and then mark the other two. And that's going to give me my quarter points on this leg spot. So now we're going to take that and we're going to put it on the inside of the bathing suit. And we're going to just do what we kind of did with the back piece where we are going to kind of pin these pieces, these quarter points. We're going to find the quarter of the hole. So I'm just going to put the seam of the crotch and then the, seam, the side seam together. And then I'll find this one and then the other side. And then you'll know where to kind of place your elastic. So I'm just going to do there and then along the crotch seam here and then the spot we marked on the bum. And then this spot we marked on the front. So as you're sewing, again, you're going to pull your elastic, but you're not going to be pulling on the fabric, just the elastic. Okay, so as you can see, the elastic is um, quite smaller than the hole. So to give you a good um, gather and it'll, you know, stay nice because we don't want any of the bits falling out when you're wearing a bathing suit. So I'm going to go ahead and place that second elastic and then we will sew it in. I'm going to use a zigzag on my regular sewing machine. Um, I think that works good, but you know, whatever you're the most comfortable with. I do have quite a few sewing machines, as you can tell, but um, this is kind of like what I do, my little YouTube channel, so I get to justify having them all. <laughs> um, but I know not everybody has a serge or a cover stitch, a regular sewing machine, an industrial machine, uh, you know, just every machine. I don't think I need any other machines though. I think, uh, I don't think I'm good. Okay. And then try not to stab yourself. Ow. It is quite hard to find an orange bathing suit Oops, for girls. I actually did find one at Old Navy this year and that was after I bought this fabric. Um, but now she will have two orange bathing suits and one made from her mom. Okay. So the first thing I do is I will just kind of get myself started by putting it under the machine. I start at one of the quarter points because those are the points that I will pull my elastic. Okay, 
and then we kind of go to the next quarter point and then we tug and then we will sew the elastic on when we get to the next quarter point we're going to pull out that pin Try to give it a little tug again just to make sure that that part gathers. And then we'll go down to the next one and pull. pins should be out so you can go ahead pull to the next and last quarter point. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the next one and uh, hopefully you got the idea and you can go ahead and do your second hole. Okay, so this is how it is looking. We have our gussets um, ready to go. So now we just need to do what we did with the back of the bathing suit and we're just going to fold in and we're gonna finish off that edge. So if you wanted to do it with a cover stitch, this is when you would do that. Um, or you can just go ahead and do that zigzag stitch again, just to kind of tuck in that elastic all the way around. I'm not gonna pin it right now. I'm just gonna kind of do it as I go along. Um, but that should finish off that. And then we're pretty much done. We just need to put the this guy in. Just like we did before, you will want to kind of stretch as you go and make sure that that is folded. I'm going to start in at the crotch area just because that is not going to be visible. Okay. And then we can kind of stretch it out. Hopefully I'm doing it better this time and I'm going over the edge. And just take your time, a little bit of a time. Okay, so this is pretty much it. How cute! That looks really good. Um, as you can see, um, it kind of did okay. Some places I did, but like I said, practice makes perfect, right? I just got that machine, and by just I mean like a year or more ago, but um, I don't use it a ton, so I mean, I could say, I could count on maybe like two hands how many times I've used it. So I'm just going to take my little tie and I'll just sort of, I'm just going to do this all at one time with my little threader tool here. Let's just grab onto it. And if you want to finish off the ends of this, you can... Um, if you want to surge them, but I'm just going to tie them in a knot. Hopefully that'll work. 
There we go. Bring it all the way through. And then it'll be kind of gathered and you'll have little peekaboo spots, but still very modest, which is what I like for my daughter. At 10 years old, there is no place for bikinis <laughs> around here. And she's completely okay with that. She likes her one pieces. I buy her like tankinis and she'll be like, I want one pieces. I'm like, really? Like I always found those such a pain, especially if to have to like get out of the pool and go to the bathroom or something. Gonna do that. Oh. <laughs> and then you can just tie it and knot behind them. So hopefully it fits her. I'll get her to try it on when she gets home from school. And I will post a picture of her um, on the blog. So I will have a little blog post regarding this. And over there you can, um, you know, find any materials that I use for this little tutorial. I'll have more information about um, just the whole thing. And then of course the link to the pattern, which is down below. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it'll so long. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as always. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments and don't forget to follow over on Instagram. Yes, Instagram, I have a TikTok now and I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on TikTok so that I can do lives over there. So uh, yeah, go over there and uh, help me out and then we can do more lives. I don't, I don't really enjoy doing lives on YouTube as much. So I think that TikTok is uh, more of a better kind of vibe for the lives. So I would love to do them over there. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.